Coming up this week on Eagle Vision News, bio students come up with a creative way to raise money for the India Project. And we find out what your plans are for this Thanksgiving. Plus, the Santa Ana winds may cause some real damage to Southern California. All this and more, next. Hi and welcome to Eagle Vision News, I'm Tiffany Brevard. And I'm Natalie Grace, let's take a look at this week's top stories. People on board a Princess's cruise ship headed for Los Angeles were affected by what looks like an outbreak of the norovirus. At least 170 passengers contracted the illness while sailing from Tahiti on the Crown Princess. It is the same ship that reported a norovirus outbreak back in April this year. The cruise ship company says it is enacting stringent disinfecting protocols before the ship is used again. Norovirus is a gastrointestinal illness that causes diarrhea and vomiting. In the Middle East, the terrorist group ISIS claims it's beheaded another Western aid worker. He's the fifth Western hostage to be killed by the Islamic State this year. Peter Kasig was an American medical worker and former U.S. Army Ranger who wanted to help war victims. He was captured in Syria over a year ago. President Obama called the 26-year-old's beheading an act of pure evil. The United States military has launched multiple airstrikes against ISIS targets in Iraq and Syria starting back in August. Here in SoCal, the weather experts warned strong Santa Ana winds could create critical fire condition in fire-prone areas. 60 mile per hour wind gusts were expected to come from the mountains Sunday night and flow into the valleys and coast. These winds can dry out the region, which in turn creates a higher fire danger. Fire departments deployed extra firefighters in case of any brush fires. The San Bernardino and Santa Ana mountains and foothills were expected to receive the brunt of the gusts, but the high risk of fires extends to all areas of Southern California. So it looks like we're gonna be seeing some wind this week. Is it going to be chilly? What's our weather looking like, Shana? I'll get to the answer of that question in just a moment, but first let's discuss this photo behind me. This is indeed lava crossing a road and it is happening right now on the big island of Hawaii. And let me assure you, this lava is hot to the touch. Moving on to the current weather conditions. We started off this morning with a crisp 72. By the afternoon, we bumped up to a 74 degrees, and at the evening, we ended at 55. Moving on to the current national weather conditions, we're seeing that it is indeed looking like winter all the way around, but especially up in the upper Midwest, we are seeing a couple of single digits in the Dakotas and the Wyoming area. And moving on to our California, seven day forecast. Tuesday we're going to start off kind of hot with an 81. By Wednesday we're going to be at a little bit of cooler 75 and then throughout the weekend we're going to be in the lower and upper 60s and ending on Monday with a 71. That's all I got for weather. Back to you in the studio. Raising money by watching movies? Biola students got a chance to do just that this week in support of international missions. Reporter Hunter Grenier has the story. Last Friday night, the Student Missionary Union put together a drive-in movie to support the India Project. The event took place in parking lot F by the floor fountain where students watched Remember the Titans while sitting in their cars and on lawn chairs. Not only were students able to watch the movie, fun activities were available as well. The night brought fun memories and support as the India Project raised money for their vision. All proceeds from the tickets and um, we're having people buy t um, s'mores and popcorn and drinks and all that kind of stuff. All of it goes straight towards the India Project. The event was a success and for some people this was a new experience. Uh, I've never been to a drive-in movie so I thought I'd try it out. <laughs> and do you think it's a good movie to watch tonight? Yeah, I think so. That's <laughs> The overall goal behind the India Project is to end Bible poverty by raising $46,000 to fund the Bible in two different translations. The India Project hopes to spread the message of God's salvation by creating an outlet for Biola to make a global impact. Prayer and donations to help end Bible poverty are appreciated. This has been Hunter Grenier, Eagle Vision News. And now we have Becky Lay with us, uh, going to give us the latest in entertainment news. Becky, I heard that Taylor Swift is canning her fans Christmas boxes. How oh, do yeah. I get on that list? Go on Tumblr. That's okay. how you get on it. <laughs> no, but Taylor Swift has been surprising her fans by sending them early Christmas gifts. 
Taylor has been mailing presents all over the country to her fans, but she made one fan's day by making a surprise visit to their house in Connecticut. Taylor connected with this fan years ago when she met Taylor and told her how she was having trouble getting pregnant and her music brought her comfort. This week, Taylor showed up to her house with a toddler-sized toy Mercedes car for this fan, his two-year-old son, Layton, as congratulations and Christmas gift. Miley Cyrus gets steamy with her new boyfriend. Patrick Schwarzenegger and Miley Cyrus went to a USC football game for a date night this week where they were packing on the PDA. They were taking selfies, kissing each other, and cuddling during the entire game. Romance rumors have been floating around for weeks about these two, but their kisses finally confirmed their relationship to the public. Miley is officially off the market. Kylie Jenner slams plastic surgery rumors. Kylie has been under fire for the past couple of months over claims that she has had work done on her lips. Her lips have noticeably gotten bigger since the beginning of the year, but she set the record straight in an interview with E! News that she has never had work done and that it is insulting to hear these rumors. Kylie said, I love lip liner and overlining my lips, but I don't care anymore. I'm like, whatever. Just say whatever you want. Well, Becky, hopefully those rumors eventually stop. And thank you so much for keeping us updated on what's going on in the entertainment industry. The holiday season is full of traditions, but they're different for each family. So we sent out reporter Shana Brodsky to see just what you're doing this Thanksgiving. Let's take a look. Don't you know anything about Thanksgiving dinners? Where's the mashed potatoes? Where's the cranberry sauce? Where's the pumpkin pie? This week on Evie on the Streets, we're going to be talking about what the kid in your science class is going to be doing over break. Allie, do you have any fun plans for this break? Um, I'm pretty much just spending time with my family this Thanksgiving. Oh, good. Where are you from? I'm from Irvine, California. Okay. I don't know yet. Um, I'll probably go on a road trip or a day trip somewhere. Yeah. With friends or family? Uh, with friends. Friends? Yeah. Where would you go? We haven't picked yet, but, you know, we will eventually get to that. Um, we work at a restaurant where we where we have to work on Thanksgiving, so our tradition's kind of been like I've that the past years. Over the years. Are you guys sisters? No. no. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you from the same hometown? Yes. yes. Oh, where are you guys from? Your Belinda. Belinda. I'm from your Belinda. What? what? Oh, good. Do you guys have any fun family traditions that you do every year? Well, we cook together, and then we eat together. So that's pretty much it, and then just time to fellowship with family and um, catch up on what's going on. So. Good. I'm we hosting <laughs> Friendsgiving. Friendsgiving? Uh -huh. What's that? Um, it's where all my friends come over and we do like a big dinner. Yeah. What does your mom usually cook? What's the plate? My aunt usually cooks and it's just pretty much the typical turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, all that. One of our, our friends is a uh, sushi chef, so so he, he usually brings like a, a platter of, of sushi, so I like, guess it's not like Thanksgiving food, but it's it's like, it's just fun stuff. Well, that got me so excited for Thanksgiving. It's probably my favorite holiday of the year. Oh gosh, me too. I love the fall, especially Thanksgiving. We go and we feed the homeless in the morning, and then my mom makes this delicious sweet potato casserole with marshmallows and brown sugar on top. <gasps> so delicious. The food is the best. Well, that's all the time that we have for you this week, but be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more stories. And if you have any stories you want us to cover, you can send them to us on any of those websites. Until then, I'm Tiffany Brevard. And I'm Natalie Grace. Thanks for watching.